Hello, everyone. Welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. In this episode of VT Workshop, we're going to be looking at some sample questions which can be used to study for the VIT Tripoli exam. Today, we're looking at the subject of English. So let's look at our first question. The first question is to fill in the blanks. His musical tastes are certainly dash. He has recordings ranging from classical piano performances to rock concerts, jazz, and even Chinese opera. So which of these would best fit the sentence, the blank here? Is it antediluvian, eclectic, harmonious, sonorous? So let's look at each of the options and analyze what do they mean. Option A is antediluvian. Now the word antediluvian was originally used to describe anything before the biblical flood. So we had, you know, various places that were present b before the biblical flood of legend. But uh, the more common meaning of the word antediluvian is ridiculously old-fashioned. Now option D is sonorous. Sonorous describes something that produces a deep or ringing sound. The word harmonious represents something that's free from disagreement or dissent. While the word eclectic means wide-ranging. So we need to find out which of these words best fits the blank. Now remember, the second part of the question says he has recordings ranging from classical piano performances to rock concerts, jazz, and even Chinese opera. So what this means is that he has a, a collection that's very wide and also a collection that is quite different with respect to what usual people do, usual people collect. So we need to find out which of these words best fits it. Antediluvian is before Biblical Flood or ridiculously old-fashioned. Now he does collect rock concerts and Chinese opera, so therefore it's not antediluvian. Option A is incorrect. Option D, sonorous, produces a deep and ringing sound. Again, that's not that's not the meaning of the word that we can you know describe musical tastes as sonorous so option D is incorrect option C harmonious is incorrect because again he has uh, usually classic piano performances are held in contrast to rock concerts so therefore they are disagreeing with each other so C is incorrect the right answer is option B eclectic the word eclectic means wide-ranging and yes the recordings are ranging from, you know, opera to rock to jazz and to classical piano. So option B, eclectic, is the right option. Next question. Choose the best pronunciation of the word P-O-I-G-N-A-N-T from the following options. Option A is poignant. Option B is poignant. Option C is poignant. And option D is poignant. So which of these is the correct option? Again, for that, we need to understand the phonetic structure of the word P-O-Y-G-N-A-N-T. So if you look uh, at the phonetic structure for this word, it is, it, it is uh, disyllabic, it has two syllables. The first syllable is this, and the second syllable is this. So we have the P sound, the O sound and the I sound, so that's poi. And you have the in sound that starts the second syllable and then a y, so the ny sound. Uh, and then you have the schwa, which is the u uh sound. We have another n sound and, another, and, a, and a t sound to close it off. So it sounds like nient. So, the correct option among the following is option D, 
poignant. Uh, the other options you have poignant, so it'll be something like this. So that's incorrect. Option B is po. Pohignant. So again, that's incorrect. And again, option C is poignant, which again doesn't exactly reflect the words. So options A, B, and C are incorrect. The right option is option D, poignant. So that concludes this episode of Witty Workshop. We hope you found it interesting. If you love the video, you can like it, share it. You can also subscribe to our channel, Agile Rankmate, and also hit the notifications button to receive our latest updates. So, until the next episode, take care, stay alert, bye-bye for now.